good morning students today we will discuss about the assurine fisheries assurine fisheries uh, mai hum in pointo ko touch karenge introduction characters of an assurie type of assurie principal uh, fisheries of assurie and conclusion so let's start first of all uh, what is a assurie Ashuri is a place where the river, after meandering through the plains, meet the sea, where the fresh water and marine water meet uh, each other. That is the Ashuri. At and near the mouth of the river, where it meet the sea, a special buffer or distinctive zone prevails. It is called Ashuri. In other words, Ashuri is a coastal water body from uh, where the fresh water and sea water overlap or mixed each other. This is the transition zone or ecotone for animal kingdom. General characters of Ashuri: Ashuri is a meeting place of river and sea, and is Ashuri is saline in nature and called brackish water. Ashuri are generally shallow and well oxygenated. Ashuris are ecotone of marine and freshwater habitat. It is a river mouth, but uh, all rivers do not produce Ashuris. The sediment carried by the rivers are accumulate in the river mouth. The accumulation of sediment is called delta. The deltas divide river into channels and shorten the estuary. River level frequently fluctuates uh, during the summer less and during the rainy season is the river level is becomes more. So water enter in the uh, more water enter in the during the estuary. Water level and salinity also fluctuate during the high and low tides. pH of ashuri is ranges from 7.5 to 8.3 type of ashuris ashuris can be classified into the following five types one first is salt based ashuri partially mixed ashuri well mixed ashuri and preserves and war wild ashuri first is wall uh, salt based ashuri salt based ashuri sea water intrusion as a wedge shaped bottom layer underneath the river water which hardly mix with the overlying fresh water layer here tidal motion is very weak or absent for example mississippi river in minnesota north america makes the estuary this is the these are the rivers and these meet to the ocean and this is this makes estuary this is a shrine sand split and these are the various type of estuaries salt fresh estuary in in form of the tides and uh, these are the velocity profile of uh, wind waves now second one is the partially mixed estuary when the river flow into the sea with appreciable tidal movement uh, which generate generates the turbulence mixing sea water in fresh water as tidal force is increasing the river output become less than the marine output here current induced turbulence causes mixing of whole water column such that salinity varies more longitudinally rather than the vertically leading to a moderately stratified condition for example bay of uh, chesapeake or bay of narangsett are the examples of partially mixed estuary third one is the well mixed estuary well mixed estuary tidal mixing forces exceed river output or is resulting in well mixed water column and disappearance of vertical salinity gradient vertical disappearance of the vertical salinity gradient is vertically disappeared the fresh water sea water boundary is el eliminated due to the intense turbulence mixing the eddy effect for example uh, delaware bay and the riterian river in new jersey is the example of well mixed estuary fjord fourth one is fjord fjords these are the deepest salt ways estuaries with the, an a infinite lower layer the salinity of bottom layer does not vary significantly the effect of tidal flow in mixing is negligible the mixing is carried out by the entertainment the often have shallow bar of rock and a silt near the mouths the tidal flow over the this can generate turbulence mixing within a limited area fifth one is the bar wilt 
estuary. This contains a chain of sandbars along the uh, shore uh, between sea and estuary. The sandbars are broken by one by one or, or more inlets. The tidal action is less in such estuaries. These are shallow and wind provides important mixing mechanism. They remain landlocked when there is no water flow in the water. They are in the river. They are temporary. So they are temporary. Principal estuarine fisheries. Uh, estuarine fisheries chiefly dis, uh, constitute the marine species as they can tolerate considerable variation in salinity and they include the many catadromous and anadromous species of eastern coast which migrate to spawning to the sea and to upstreams in freshwater respectively. The principal anadromous species are Hilsai Elisa, Pama Pama, Polynemus, Paradisius and Catadromus are the Polynemus indicus and Polynemus tetradactylus and Tachysilus gila and the Ostriogenius militaris migrate from the sea to spawn in brackish water. Principal issues in India IDR Ishuri Tamil Nadu of Kaveri, Chelka Puri in Odisha. Kaveri Embanked Ashuri near the Tiruchirapalli Tamil Nadu, Godavari East Coast Ashuri in Andhra Pradesh, Hugli Malta in Sundarvan Bay of Bengal, Krishna in Machlipuram Andhra Pradesh, Pulikat Lake in Nellore Andhra Pradesh, Vellore Ashuri in Tamil Nadu and Vegai in Ramanand district in Tamil Nadu. The principal groups of resident Ashuri fish species include the general the clupid, herrings, uh, anchovies, sprats, mullets, catfishes, threadfin, perch, prawn, half peak fish, garfish, eels, rays, shark, flatfish, oyster, and lime cells also contribute to a lesser extent to estuarine fisheries. Clupids include the Helsa elisa, Nematolosa nauseus, and Pelona species, Cetipinna species, Allops saurus, and Megalops. An Antodstoma chanda are the principal fishes, clupid fishes in Ashuris. Now, a detailed study of these uh, one by one. Hilsa elisa. Hilsa elisa is an important Indian migratory fish. Large number of this fish is caught in Bengal, Urisha and Kathiawar coast in Gujarat. The Hilsa elisa fishery exists after the monsoon rain in the flooded river. In Ashuris, Ganga and Mahanadi fishing, Hilsa is continued even in the summer and winter months. Large number of young Hilsa Koira, uh, 8 to, uh, 5 to 8 inches in length, are collected during the winter in the river of Hooghly. Fishing of Hilsa is carried out by the several methods. Different type of nets called Sanghajal, Gill nets, Sin, sin nets, draft, Drift net, bag nets are employed for the fishing of Hilsa. Depending upon the size of shoal, catch during the one operation may be as large as hundreds of quintals of fishes. Due to want of time, uh, transport facility from the uh, interior part, these catches are salted and sun dried. This is a Hilsa Elisa fish which have a spindle shaped body and a homocircle tail and one dorsal fin and pectoral pelvic and one ventral fin and operculum is present over the gills. Mutual cephalus. Second one is the mutual cephalus. It is an important fishery of tropical and subtropical coast, particularly Bhasawada of Bengal and Narakkal at Cochin. And this fish is also found in the Ganga and Mahanadi, Mahanadi rivers. The fries of mullets migrate to the brackish water. These are surface feeders and feed on alga, vegetable debris and mud. The larvae feed on the planktonic crustacean. 10 inch fish become sexually mature. They breed in brackish water and fresh water during May, May to September. The eggs are pelagic and measure 0.90 mm. They hatch out within 16 to 18 hours after fertilization. Larvae float on water. 
this is all about uh, mesial cephalus this is the structure of mesial cephalus or photograph of mesial cephalus which scales are clear clearly seen opercular is present and pectoral pelvic fin and this is the first dorsal and second dorsal supported by the fin rays and homocircle tail is there mesial cephalus mesial cephalus is the largest mullet species along the indian coast it is widely distributed in the tropical and subtropical waters they can tolerate salinity in variation it is important crop of vasabada uh, fishery of west bengal along the prawn and paddy field and the most successful fish farm in india is the narakal in cochin mullets are caught in gill nets sea net and uh, shallow areas cast net and fry fingerlings are caught in the hapa net which are rectangular piece of mosquito net cloth a small triangular and rectangular dip net are also used to catch the mesial cephalus fry of mesial cephalus are most common available through the or throughout the year these are used to culture the in brackish water now chenos chenos another fish is chenos chenos that is also commonly known as milk fish milk fish is also an important fish of brackish water its maximum length is 150 cm it does not breed in confined water it is it breed in flowing water its spawn in the it, it spawn in the sea near the coast uh, eggs are pelagic and nearly 12 mm in diameter embryo hatch out within 24 hours larva is 12 to 15 mm fry collected in the large number along the east coast estuary during april to june when they move in the large hole into the shallow and tidal creeks this is the milkfish chenos chenos structure of milkfish is a minute scale cycloid scales are found over uh, the bo body uh, tinoid scales and this is the first dorsal fin and supported by fin rays this is the homocircle uh, caudal fin and this is the anal fin and this is the pectoral fin and pelvic fin and this is pectoral fin and gills are uh, covered by the operculum this is rounded large eyes and a terminal mouth this is all about assuring this series thank you thank you very much